Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray and my partner ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk is Stuart Robson and group stage fair on the menu tonight in the UEFA Champions League. It's Union Berlin facing Barcelona. Well Derek, this has the makings of a very good game. Great atmosphere, some top class players and a perfect pitch. I'm excited by this one. Becker. Torres. Ferran Torres. Lewandowski. And he might be through here. Oh, denied by the keeper. Well, what more can you say? That's goalkeeping at its very best. Frankie de Jong. Torres. Here's Rafinha. Uh, the keeper completely untroubled. What can they do from here? And Barcelona winning the ball back. Good work from Union to win back possession. Torres, can they forge ahead? And the flag raised, offside it is. De Jong, Rafinha. Well, he's certainly not alone. Making sure nothing came of it. Becker. Joao Cancelo. It's with Gundogan. On to De Jong. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Good work from Barcelona to win it back. That's a good ball. Lewandowski, a goal! The opening statement of the match, a richly deserved lead, and now they can celebrate. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And then Lewandowski's finish is brilliant. He strikes the ball so cleanly and gives the keeper no time to react. It's a really good goal. Kedira. Kevin Behrens. And so it is. The first half story has been written. And the referee sounding the second half into action. It's Barcelona with the lead here. Gundogan. It's with Joao Cancelo. Frankie de Jong. Great opportunity. A goal! That's two for him today. They simply can't stop him. No wonder he's celebrating. Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. So the ball rolling again at 2-0. And the emphasis is on creativity, but really sticking to the task defensively. De Jong. Lewandowski. And he clears the danger. De Jong. This is Robert Lewandowski. Lewandowski. Real chance. Well, goodness me. Into the goalkeeper's grateful grasp. 20 minutes remaining. Gundogan. 
Romeo. Return to Gunduan. Can he put it in? And it goes! A three-goal cushion, and you truly sense it's a matter of how many. Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power, but just look at the follow-through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. Well, the ball is moving again, and Barcelona really cantering to victory now. Might really be able to trouble them here. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Keeper there to collect. Danilo Duki. It's with Tussar. And that is that. Very satisfying from the Barca point of view. A victory here. What did you think of their overall display? Well, Derek, they were the better team all over the pitch. We saw good individual performances. We saw an attack which was always threatening. And they played really well. What a performance that was today. From the corners of the world, I feel the sound. Take me to your speaker. Gotta work to find the frequency. And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray, and adjacent to me in the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And very excited to be bringing you this group stage game from the UEFA Champions League. It's Barcelona facing Milan. Well, Derek, this has the makings of a very good game. Great atmosphere, some top-class players and a perfect pitch. I'm excited by this one. Rafinha. Oriol Romeu. It's with Joao Cancelo. And Torres on the ball. Romeu. Now, will they be able to play it in behind the defence? Joao Cancelo. And the ball back with Milan now. Torres. It's with Gundogan. And support available. Torres. Well, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. Frankie de Jong. Getting forward. Well, I'll tell you what, he didn't miss by an awful lot. Gundogan. Ferran Torres. Nice looking pass. Gundogan. Not the easiest of situations for the keeper. Danger averted. Nicely cut out. Gundogan. Well, he's certainly not alone. Well, he gave it quite the blast, but nowhere close to the goal. Davide Calabria. A bit wasteful from Milan. They could nudge in front. Oh, such an elegant finish! How about that on the volley? A brilliant strike, whatever way you look at it. Well, here it is again, and you have to say, this is a very good volley. His technique is absolutely perfect. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. 
Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. That is that for the first half here. So underway in the second half, and we're going to find out if Milan can turn this game on its head. Well, that's a foul, and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. Well, in truth, it could have been more challenging for the goalkeeper. Oh, in with a chance! Well, he had the chance. He went for power. He might be regretting that now. Well, he got his angles all wrong there. That's a poor miss. Rade Krunic. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. De Jong. It's with Gundogan. Well, the keeper had to concentrate. And he did what he had to do defensively. Good tackle. Pulisic. Now with Sergi Roberto. Gundogan. De Jong. Rafinha. Torres. Now options are plenty. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Olivier Giroud. Pulisic now. Ten minutes to go. Well, these fans have been brilliant. Just listen to them. Surely this will inspire the players to hang on here. What a noise we've got. Can he finish them off? And diving to thwart him. Well, they'll be looking to add to their advantage from this corner. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. And still dangerous. And good work to deny the chance. And a goal! They lead by two now. And that allows them to breathe a bit more easily. And that is that. Very satisfying from the Barca point of view. A victory here. What did you think of their overall display? Well, Derek, they were dominant in most aspects of the game, particularly in that midfield area. And they also looked threatening in the top third of the pitch. It's a really good result for them.